All right, hello there, everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get this uh, final project for our programming class uh, started up a little bit here. And I'm only going to really show, just, just going to get really, really started as far as the, um, the what am I trying to say, the uh, background scrolling. Um, actually, let me get my other mouse out real quick. So hold on just a second. Okay, so now we're off and going, and that was just so I can zoom this a little bit. There we go. So in our backgrounds folder of, of all the uh, assets that I provided for this project that came from other sources, really. So I've got a background here. I'm going to go ahead and drag that out, and put it into my, my game world, and get this positioned somewhere. So let me zoom out some. And I'm going to position it. Let's see, I'm going to push it down. Oh, maybe right about there. Can't really tell for sure if I can see the back of that or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my main camera. I'm going to change, well, the blue will work. So I can see the blue right there showing underneath. So let me actually pull out my game view. So I've got both of these kind of showing here. Okay, so let's, on our background, let's keep, move it down just a little bit. There we go. You know, maybe like right about, let's go with negative 2.5. That looks pretty good. And then let's move it this way. Now what I'm, so this building right here, this is going to be my marker for how I want to loop this. And I want to go ahead and snug it up to the side here. So let's make my game view bigger because I can see that a whole lot easier. And then I'm just going to use my X here and kind of slide this. Let's see, 7.94, what about 7.95? Oh, let's see, what does seven, what does eight look like? Yeah, I don't like doing it that way. Here we go. Actually, eight might have been exactly what I wanted. Eight point oh one. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go with like eight, okay? and just leave that. So let's go ahead. I've got a scripts folder. Do I have anything in my scripts folder? Oh, just that particle destroy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new script right here. And I'm going to call this BG scroller. And this is going to be my background scroller. That's what it's going to be responsible for. So let's go ahead and load, load up our script editor here really quick. And then zoom in on our font so it's a little bit easier to uh, read. Well, I guess we don't really need to zoom in much. But we'll zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to need a couple of variables. One is going to be a public uh, float speed. That's going to be how fast I'm moving. And then I'm also going to want a vector three um, start POS. And that's my starting position. So inside my start here, I'm going to go ahead and do a start POS equals transform dot position. So now I've got my starting position stored. And in my update, I'm going to go ahead and be moving to the left. So I'm going to do a transform, transform dot translate, if I can spell correctly. And let's see, so I need a vector that I want to move. So you know what, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's just do it right here. New vector three, which I really should do this as a variable separate, which I'm going to. <laughs> and so like, we'll go. Can I get out of my way? We'll go up one. So I'm going to do a vector three equals uh oh, vector three uh move. Yeah, just move direction because it is a vector. Is going to equal new vector three. Actually, I'm way overthinking this. Yeah, let's just go back down here and translate. So translate, which direction do we want to move? Well, that is going to be new. Vector 3 is going to be, I want to go to the left, so that's going to be negative 1, 0, 0. I don't want to move any on those other axes. So that is going to be moving me to the left, like so. Now, I might want to apply some speed to this thing as well. So for that, for instance, I'll put some extra parentheses here new vector three that, right? And then I'll go times my speed and times my trusty time dot delta time, like so. I got one, two, there we go. Did I miscount? 
Yep, I miscounted. I got one too many parentheses, and there we go. Okay, so that should get this moving. So let me go ahead and save that really quick and drop back out. Let's go ahead and attach BG Scroller to my background. Oops, got to compile. Are you done? Okay, we're done. So I put it up here. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself a default speed of, oh, let's say 1, which is really too slow, but that's what we'll start with. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and play this, and you can see we're moving to the left. Now, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to be able to, when we get back to this starting position, where we're back to kind of what we saw with the, um, I don't know, it's like a, a rotating restaurant or something like that, some kind of sky dome. We want to be able to reset everything, but as you can see, we don't have another one of those rotating sky domes. So, in order to get another rotating sky dome, that thing, I'm going to go ahead, select my background out here, do a control D to duplicate it. I'm going to make it a child of the main background, and this copied one, I'm going to get rid of this BG scroller script, because I don't want that one on there. There we go, so now I've just got this background. And let's do some stuff with it. So I'm going to start. I'm actually going to move this up so you can kind of see what's going on a little bit better. And I want to move it all the way to the right so that it lines up over there. Okay. So let's just move. All right. So kind of getting close here. So I will go ahead and let's see. Let's move this down. Actually, let's grab, we'll just set it to zero because that'll, th these coordinates right here are relative to this one. So this means that we are 29.1 units to the right of wherever this one start is currently at. Zero means I'm at zero relative to where that one is at and zero relative to where that one is at. Okay, so let's see. Let's move you. And we'll kind of line you up. So what, 29.4? Maybe a little bit less, 3.5. Maybe a little bit more, 3.7. You know, we can kind of play around with this, whether we want that gap right there or not, which we probably don't. Because looking at the other buildings, you can see there's really no gap in them. So 3.6, so let's go to a 3.5. And there's still slight gaps, so we'll try 3.4, slight gap, 3. Uh, there we go, that looks like that gap is gone. Okay, now to, to better see exactly what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to go ahead and bounce this up on my y-axis so that way we can see what's going to happen here. And what's going to happen is we want to wait until we get to a certain point, and then we're going to restart this whole process. And the point we want is when our second one is just up to this edge right here, right where our uh, sky dome thing would have been set up. And the way that I'll be able to figure this out well, there's a couple of things that I could actually do. Um, and I'll kind of show you this as we get closer. So here you can see where my new one is. I think so I'm going to go ahead and stop, kind of pause that so I can just go fr one frame at a time. So you can see our numbers here are changing. So I'm going to keep going forward, 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 forward. Let's go a little bit further. Blink. Okay, so I want to know when this gets to that point. Basically, when there's no more blue right there, right? So I'll just, let's take a look at what we've got here. One frame at a time. Like there or there. I like that one. So negative 21.34. That's what I care about. Okay, fine. So I'm going to stop that. Go back into my script right here. And I'm now going to say if transform dot position dot y is less than negative 21.34 is what we said well if we're less than that then we're going to go ahead and reset our position so transform dot position equals start pos like so and that's all i care about so that's all i need right there so uh, i'm going to be moving left every frame when I get to a certain point, which this is actually the wrong number, no, well, no, that's actually the correct number because the number that I was getting was from the uh, was from the main background. You can see it starts off at eight, and I'm waiting until it gets all the way over there. Okay, 
So, so once the uh, main background gets to where this shouldn't be y, this should be x. I don't know why I did y. Once we get to where the uh, x value of our position is less than negative 21, 21.34, we're ready to go ahead and reset. And we're just going to reset back to where we started. So let's save that, control S, and let's see what we've got now. And specifically what we want to look for is we want to look for any stutter right there. So the first time I'm just going to let this run so that we can see where this happens. And then I'm going to go ahead and reset where this background where our secondary child background is and make sure that this is as smooth as we can get it. Uh, so I know I'm looking for a value of negative 21, so negative 21.3, so we should be getting there unless I was looking at the wrong one, which maybe I was, we'll see. Let's see, let's slow that down. Let's do it a little faster there, let's slow it down. So we're getting close, getting close, getting close. So I'm moving along here, and it reset. There we go. So that's that's what I'm wanting. Now, let's see how this really looks. So we'll take this child background and where it's X, where it's Y is 3.9. Let's just drop it back down to zero, so that it's aligned there. And let's run this, and let's see how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and speed up, speed this up. Let's say like a three. And really, what I'm looking for is I'm looking to see if I have a stutter. So here's my building. Let's see what happens. Seemed pretty smooth to me. Uh, so I'll wait again. Wait for that building to come back around. Here it comes. Let's see if we get a stutter. Nope. You can see over here that it's resetting. Over here we see that it's resetting, but here in our game view, we're not noticing this. We have a completely scrolling background with no stutter, nothing like that. So Pretty nice, pretty easy. You know, you, you saw the script is you know, all of really just four lines of code. It's not a very complex script. It just comes down to this problem-solving approach of how I can get this to do what it is I want it to do. All right, so pretty cool stuff there. Any questions, just let me know.